The Other Side of Hope, which is the new film uh, by uh, Aki Karismaki, of whom I am a fan, which is a deadpan, yet I have to say very heartfelt uh, tragic comedy about the plight of uh, migrants in Europe. We have a central guy, uh, Khaled, who is a Syrian who has lost his home and his family uh, in a rocket attack and is now seeking uh, asylum. Uh, and he's asked at one point, how did you how do you get across the borders? And he says, easily, no one wants to see us. Um, his he's initially uh, goes to see the authorities who put him into a processing thing, which means he has to go to various different uh, reception centres. Meanwhile, he meets up with a character called Rick Strom, who is a travelling salesman. He used to sell shirts, who has now decided to set himself up uh, as a restaurateur. He has bought a restaurant that is specialised in meatballs and fish, but he wants to uh, expand the clientele. So he moves into a couple of very badly judged uh, experiments, such as a sushi night in which... <laughs> in which salted herring is served as sushi with massive amounts of wasabi to an understandably unimpressed clientele. The two make an odd couple, and the story itself, which, as I said, is, is, is about uh, a number of very serious issues. It's dealing with uh, immigration, it's dealing with racism, it's dealing with violence, it's dealing with authorities, it's dealing with people being hostile to outsiders. And yet, as with all of Carrie's Mackie's stuff, it has a very, very dry, droll sort of touching in a kind of Jim jarmusch like way sense of humour. So it is often very, very funny, very, very poignant. It has lovely use of music that all the way through the music seems to form a kind of Greek chorus. What happens is you start hearing tunes and then they will often they will appear on screen. So it will be a busker playing a sort of bluesy song that provides Greek chorus-like accompaniment. There's a scene in a bar where there is a band that are playing something which initially when you hear it, it seems to be uh, music that is incidental music, but then becomes part of the drama. There is a wonderful sequence when they are in one of the many reception centres in which somebody starts playing a tune on this instrument that transports everybody in the centre back to a distant land, back to a lost land. It's very melancholic, very poignant. All the time our hero is searching for his sister from whom he has become separated. And so the film is very rich and very interwoven in the way that it takes this kind of, on the one hand, you know, very scarce, very dry, very droll, very deadpan view of its characters who have a, you know, a kind of perfect comic timing. But on the other hand, it is about a serious subject and it is compassionate and humane and a film which seems to genuinely care about the characters and start to get under their skin for all the artifice, for all the theatricality of the presentation, for all the sort of the, the slightly unnatural, almost Lynchian air of some of the framings. You do... Sorry. What, is that, what does that mean? Well, a a um, Lynchian air in the framing. What's, OK, what's... so I'll give you an example. There is a scene uh, in the interior of the kind of restaurant come club in which everything to do with the way in which the furniture is positioned and the colouring of the walls and the way the light from a standard lamp is shining, it has that... It's almost hyper-real. It's... It's not it's not realistic. It's kind of hyper real. It has that sense that it's it's slightly dreamy. And the whole film itself has that kind of slightly dreamy, slightly anarchic, slightly off kill to feel. And I thought it, it manages to do what it does really, really well, because on the one hand, it is, as I said, quite often very funny, but it is also very touching. It is dealing with a subject matter which is, you know, powerful and uh, and moving. And it does it in a way that that whilst you're watching it is a real pleasure. It's a real cinematic pleasure, a real sort of, uh, you know, joining of music and images in a way which is melancholic and seems truthful. I, I really liked it very much. It was I thought it was very touching, often very funny, occasionally heartbreaking and uh, very, very Aki Karismaki. <laughs>